says, keep fighting, stay strong, don't give up. You're the best. I would push my kids really hard and keep working. And then when I felt like they were having a tough time, we'd stop. And I'd do a cancer box and, and relax. And then we keep pushing on, we keep pushing on. And usually that ended up at holidays where it gets crazy sometimes. And we would stop and do a fun project for this cancer box. And then when I get an email back, they just sit on the floor and they're just totally quiet. I read the email and I just see, that's what it means to do something for someone else. And they just sit there, not a word. It's amazing. It's amazing and it's awesome. It just makes you This box came when I was sitting at the hospital getting medicine, and they came up and handed me this awesome box with all these great little treasures in. And you guys are doing, it's amazing. It's amazing what your teacher is doing with you. It makes people feel really, really, really good that you took that time out, just to try to make somebody feel a little bit better. And it helped. She came into my classroom, and she spoke to my kids and hung out with us for a little while. And I have a feeling like, you know how we all have things that we really feel like we need to do? I have a feeling that she knew something was coming, so she decided that I got to get into his classroom. And she goes, she had chemo that morning, and she came into my classroom that afternoon. So she really, really, really must have said, I really need to do this. We can go academic, academic, academic. We could do that all the time, but you can't do anything unless you feed both sides. You need to feed their emotional and their self. You need to feed that kind, that considerate, caring side. 